Ade TV KPM And we are back on level 2 for Didi TV KPM together with me Sean Steven and also Mr. Q for the subject science DLP and today we're learning about microorganisms. <laughs> All right, Mr. Q over to you. Hi everyone. Okay. So, for now, we are going to in this segment we're going to talk about the types of microorganisms and the examples of it. All right. So, let us move on to the first type of microorganisms. Okay, first micro microorganism is the fungi. So fungi, uh, uh, we can see fungi in air, water, soil, and on other living things as well. Okay. Okay. They are also widely known as the decomposers. Do you know what's a decomposer? Uh, I'm not so sure, Mr. Okay. Q. So basically, decomposers they break down uh, complex materials into simpler form so that they can absorb nutrient mm -hmm. from the uh, from the living things or non-living things. Okay. Uh, okay. So next of uh, next is uh, the fungi also reproduce by spores. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they are like these small dots uh, where they can reproduce by using it. Oh. So that is their special characteristics. Okay. Okay. So let's look at some of the examples of fungi. So the first example of fungi is the rhizopus. So rhizopus is actually the bread mold. Mm -hmm. Is it this one? Ah uh, yes. Oh, that's the bread mold. Yeah. This one over here. Okay, that's the bread mold. Mm -hmm. uh, this usually happens after five to seven days after not eating the bread. Lah. Yeah. Uh, then you'll see the mold start to appear. Ah, ah. all right. I was wondering what, what, what was that. All what right. Was. The second example would be the pen, uh, penicillium. Mm -hmm. So, penicillium is a type of uh, fungi that uh, is widely used by pharmacologists. So what are pharmacologists? They are the people that design medicines. Ah. Uh, so they design the medicines. You, for example, penicillin. So it comes from penicillium. Mm -hmm. So it is used to treat bacterial infection. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And the last of all is yeast. So yeast are widely used by bakers all around the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, they, are, they use it to bake uh, to make breads, uh, especially. Also, yeah. the yeast will usually be put inside the place inside the dough. And after 20 to 30 minutes, the dough will increase in its size. Wow. Ah, why? It is because the yeast exhales micro, uh, carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the reason why the dough increases in size. Ah, ah. all right. Here, there's, some, uh, there's an interesting fact for, about fungi. Okay, fungi, uh, sorry. So fungi, as we all know, that microorganisms are living things that cannot be seen with our naked eyes. Mm -hmm. but not the mushroom. <laughs> okay. The mushroom is also considered a fungi, even though uh, we can see it with our naked eyes because they do not possess characteristics of a plant or an animal. Therefore, it is called a fungi. Ah, ah. okay. And as you can see inside the, uh, as you can see from the picture here, mm -hmm. there are spores. Okay. So those spores are actually. Uh, this, these pores are used by the fungi to reproduce into, uh, into more <laughs> mushrooms. Uh. I see. Uh, and they hide underneath the little umbrella of the mushroom. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay? Yes. All right, thank you. Okay, next will be the bacteria. Okay, bacteria can be found in air, water, soil, and other living things. Okay? They also, ex uh, they, it's easy to identify bacteria actually. Okay. Because they exist in either spherical shape. Spherical shape is like a ball. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, or they exist in rod shaped. Okay. Or a spiral shape. Do you know what's a spiral shape? Is it something that goes like a circle or something yeah. like that? Is if that you, correct? If you, have, you eat, have you eaten springy noodles? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. So it's, the springy noodles has a spiral shape. Ah, <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah. And it also ex, ex, uh, exists by absorbing nutrients from other living things. I okay. See. So these are some of the examples of bacteria. So what we have here, we have the streptococcus, which is uh, uh, sphere, spherical. Okay. And then we have the spirulium, mm -hmm. which is uh, in a spiral shape. Oh, it looks like a noodle, right? Yes, yeah. the springy noodle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also we have the famous, these are these two are actually famous, uh, well, two of the famous uh, bacteria which is not so good for the humans actually, okay. uh, which is the Escherichia coli and the Salmonella. Oh. So I have actually an 
bad have a bad experience with these two uh, microorganisms. Oh no! So back then, uh, I think five years ago, mm -hmm. so five years ago, uh, I was uh, I went to Ipoh to look okay. for nice food to eat. You know, Ipoh is famous for good food, right? Yes. So what happened is we we stumbled across this uh, famous. A fried noodle restaurant. Mm. So of course we went to try it. Huh? We went yeah. to try it. But, uh, so the highlight of the restaurant was they used um, uh, uncooked, uncooked egg. Okay. And they break the egg, the raw egg, into the noodle, which is just uh, fried, uh, just freshly fried. Okay. So the heat will will actually cook the the egg, right? Yep. So but everything was everything tastes well, mm -hmm. but not that night. <laughs> oh no! Everything tastes well, but not that nice. So I had bad food poisoning experience. Uh, oh. I vomited and have bad diarrhea. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So, have you had food poisoning before? Yes, I actually had that si very similar experience as well, and uh, it was not a very nice experience at all. No. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, students, has any one of you experienced um, food poisoning before? Oh, Anis, would you care to share your experience? Yes. So, did you? Uh, how was how was the food poisoning experience for you? Yes, Mr. Q. It was very bad. It was very bad. Did you vomited and have diarrhea? Yes. <laughs> it must be, it must be an awful experience, right, Nan? Hmm. So, what is your advice? For other students and everyone that is watching here today. Sure, Mr. Q. I will advise and everyone that is watching at home to make sure that you eat properly cooked food. <laughs> That's a very good advice, right, Sean? Yes. All I right. Think. Thank you, Anis. Yes, very good. Okay, so make sure you eat properly cooked food, huh? Because when food is cooked properly, they will kill all the microorganisms. Whether it's bacteria or fungi that we just learned just now, right? Ah, fungi. Yes. Okay, moving on. Okay, now we have the algae. Algae is actually a very interesting uh, microorganism mm -hmm. because it possesses characteristics of a plant. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, what are the characteristics of, of the plant? Of a plant, it has chlorophyll. Oh. So, chlorophyll is actually a green pigment mm -hmm. that helps the plant to absorb light and then produce food through the process of photosynthesis. Ah, ah. okay. So yeah. from here we know that algae produce their own food. Mm -hmm. mm, I assume the incredible Huck doesn't use algae, right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he's green. Yeah, he's I green. I don't think so, he has algae. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> so let's have a look at some of the pictures here. So we have the chlorella, the chlamydomonas, and the volvox. All three of these are the examples of algae. Can one of you, one of the students here, let me know what colors of the algae? Put up your hand. Okay, Zarik Zakwan. Okay, what is uh, what is the color of the algae? The color of the algae is green. Yes, it is green in color, like I mentioned just now, because mm -hmm. it has chlorophyll. Oh yes. Thank you, Zarik Zakwan. Okay, so. Um, Volvox and chlorella are actually algae that uh, happens to be seen on usually in the river okay. or the pond. Mm -hmm. Okay, like this picture here. <laughs> oh. Okay, is this a field of grass or a river full of algae? Sean? It looks, it looks like a field of grass actually. <laughs> yes, yeah. it looks like a field of grass. So actually it is, a, it is actually a river full of algae. Ah, so actually, algae is good for the ecosystem. It is mm -hmm. good for the marine life because it is a food source for them. Yeah. It is food source for all the fishes and all that. Mm -hmm. But too much of algae is not good. Oh, why? Why? Because when the f when the algae is when the algae covers the whole surface of the river, mm -hmm. what happens is the sun cannot penetrate through. It cannot penetrate through the, the surface of the water. Mm -hmm. And then the aquatic plants, the plants that live under the, the, the river, cannot get sunlight. Ah, ah, so see. when they cannot get sunlight, they cannot produce oxygen, which is needed by the animals, uh, ah, the marine okay. animals. Yeah. Therefore, all in the long run, all marine lives will die. 
Oh no. Uh, so this is a fun fact about algae. Okay. Okay. Moving on, we have the protozoa. Like just just now, we we learned that the um, algae has characteristic of the plant. Mm -hmm. So protozoa has the characteristics of an animal. Oh. Mm. Okay. So animals they move around to look for food. Yeah. So they they won't sit there and wait for food to come to them. Mm -hmm. So same as the so so goes with the protozoa. They yep. move to find food, and they can be found in ponds, rivers, and lakes. Mm -hmm. So they are widely found there. Okay. Yep. So these are the examples of protozoa. So protozoa, we have the paramecium and the amoeba. Look at the paramecium closely. So the paramecium has uh, legs like the centipede, right? Oh, yes, ah. like many legs. Yes, a lot of legs, yes. So these legs are actually called cilia, mm -hmm. C-I-L-I-A, which helps them move around to look Ooh. for food. Ah. Okay. Okay, so that's about the protozoa. Lastly is the virus. Ah. Virus is also an important part of the microorganism family. Mm -hmm. So it is the smallest microorganism, but one of the most deadliest oh, out there. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so microorganisms, they reproduce inside other living things. Mm -hmm. Okay, they not only uh, infect humans or plants or even animals, they actually infect other microorganisms. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, later on I'll show you an show you an example of it okay so bacteria uh, sorry virus can only be seen under uh, ele an electric uh, electron microscope okay. so it cannot be seen through a normal microscope like the one shown in front of here oh so that's a special microscope yes just to see viruses yes viruses and it is huge humongous yeah <laughs> okay wow. so okay let's have a look so these are some of the viruses that are common in our society. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the influenza virus is yep. quite quite common, but it is also deadly. Yeah. Okay. Influenza virus actually kills a lot of uh, humans uh, every, every year. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, when is uh, if the immune system is not strong enough uh, for okay. the for the uh, for the humans, and then just now I did mention that the microorganisms. Uh, virus actually inhibits in one of can inhibits in my uh, in other microorganisms, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, look uh, in the picture here. You can see this. This is the bacterial fudge. Okay. So bacteriophage is a type of virus that only attacks bacteria. Oh uh, wow! Okay. So when they see a bacteria, you will go inside the bacteria Ooh. and then take over the whole body. So they take over the whole body, mm. and when it's time, it will reproduce, and all the bacteria will come out of the uh, sorry, not bacteria. All the virus what comes out from the stump, from the, the belly, from the, from the belly of the bacteria, from the belly la. Oh, okay. <laughs> but there's, there isn't a belly la, actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Last of all is the human immunodeficiency virus, which is widely known as the HIV. Ah, the okay. HIV is a very deadly virus because uh, it is also a sexual transmitted disease. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we must uh, hu as humans we must be very careful. Yeah. to not be infected by it. Mm -hmm. Okay, till today, scientists have not found an effective cure for the HIV virus. Oh, mm. okay. Okay, so next of all, next we have, I want to show you what is the electron virus, uh, electron virus, the electron microscope. Okay. So the electron microscope is used to observe the virus. As you can see here, it is not like your usual microscope, right? Oh, it looks really big. Yes. As compared to the normal microscope. <laughs> and it's usually, uh, we don't use it in school or any other places. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the lab as a scientist. Yeah. Only the scientist uses it ah, uh, to examine, uh, to find the cure for the viruses and all that. Okay. Mm. Okay. Looks like we have already covered the five types of microorganis microorganisms. Mm -hmm. And also, we have already uh, mentioned some of the examples of it. Okay. Alright? Yep. So, what I want uh, the students to do now is to answer some of the questions. All mm. right. Okay, so students, so besides Sean, mm -hmm. you can see I've already labeled, I've already labeled the microorganisms, the type of microorganisms. Mm -hmm. And what I need from you all is to let Sean know mm -hmm. the special characteristics of each microorganism. So, for bacteria, can someone put up your hand and let me know who wants to answer bacteria? 
Okay, Anis Humaira. Okay, please let us know what is the special characteristics of a bacteria. I believe we have the uh, answers that they can choose yes, from Yes, you can here, choose right? the answers from here. Anis? Okay. Asics in spherical rod or spiral form. Yes. Okay. okay. So I think yeah, I have they this exist here. in uh, spherical rod or mm -hmm. spiral form. All okay. right. So this uh, this belongs to bacteria, right? Yes. So I'll just place it over here. Oh, nice and neat. So is her answer correct? Excellent. Well done! <laughs> and how many stars will she get? She'll get two stars for it. Two stars! Wow! Congratulations okay. to you. Okay. Good job, Anis. All right. Now, moving on, we will have the protozoa. protozoa. Can someone let me know what is the special characteristics of the protozoa? Put up your hand. Anyone wants to answer? Okay, Zarik, you may answer the question now. Could you please repeat your answer? Did you, move did you say that move food. to find food? Yeah. Yes. Ah, ah, yes, that is correct. That's so the correct answer. Protozoa, they move to find food because they have uh, legs called the cilia, remember? Oh, yes, that's right. Ah. So, since his answer is correct, how many stars will he get? He will also get two stars for this. Two stars! Well done! Good job, Zarik. All right. So, I think we have another board just behind here. I'll just replace yes. this. Mm -hmm. I'll put this behind. And we have, oh, what are these here, Mr. Q? Okay, so now we have the fungi. So, can someone answer what is the fungi? Eh, sorry, I, what is the characteristics of the fungi? Put up your hand. Okay, Alisa, she would like to answer. Fungi reproduce by spore. Yes. This is the that one? Is, yes, that is correct. So, fungi reproduces by spores. Mm. Right. So, if you all remember, spores are uh, tiny, tiny spots, dots, huh, that cannot be seen with our naked eyes, mm -hmm. but it can produce a lot, a lot of fungis later right. on. So, okay? since her answer is correct, how many stars will she get? She will also get two stars <gasps> from this answer. Well done! <laughs> Amazing! Two stars for you. Okay, well done, Alisa. Next, we will have the algae. Can someone answer what is the characteristics of the algae? Put up your hand. Okay, Zarik. So, what is the special characteristics of the algae? Have chlorophyll. Mm, exactly. Chlorophyll. Also yes, it's the, the bottom answer. Okay. Hold so, on, chlorophyll is actually the green pigment inside uh, the plant which helps to produce uh, produce food for the algae. Eh? So that is correct. Well done. Well done. Zarik, another two stars for you. Another Excellent. Another two stars. <laughs> well done. Uh, well done to you. Okay. And I think we still have one more board, right? Yes, one okay. more. Last one. Last, Last question. Last one here. Aha, this one. Okay, looks like there's only one answer left on the board. Mm hmm. Hmm. Who would like to answer this? Put up your hand. Alisa? Anyone would like to try? There's only one answer. Wink, wink. Zarik again. Okay, Zarik, what was, what was your answer? Smallest microorganism. Okay, it, it is the smallest microorganism. Ooh, uh -oh. Okay, let me just remove this. Okay, and uh, since the answer, well, is definitely a correct answer, how many stars will he get? Excellent, he gets another two stars. Another two stars! Well okay. done to you, Zarik. Well done, Zarik. Thank you for participating, Zarik. Mm -hmm. And you've been actively answering the questions. Very good. DDIT TV, KPM.